people ha have to accept it, to say you can reuse resources from waste because it's quite a challenge and a lot of people would not take that lightly to reuse say water if they know to say this water is from a uh, uh, treatment plant it will be not the others don't take it that lightly not to see the wastewater treatment as a spend of money but also that you can recover biogas and use it and uh, save energy mm -hmm. reuse the water you can learn uh, the name from the book and then you meet the professor like in, a, in reality and you're like oh my god uh, my, my, my experience that I really remember he didn't teach me or anything but I was really surprised when I met the guy that I'm, on which model I'm working on uh, I'm working with Mike uh, Urban and I, I met the guy Mike and I was like really? <laughs> so I, I, I really think that those moments on IG are really special and it's I find it really uh, like they're not real you know it's kind of mm -hmm. um, oh my god this professor is teaching me and he's talking to me right now <laughs> <laughs> um, many memories mm -hmm. I have and uh, but um, to learn something from Holland and uh, we learned much of uh, treating water. I was very interesting then in treating of water okay. to learn more about that. So I was very satisfied with this year in Delft. The contacts with the engineers from many parts of the world was most interesting next to the lectures of course which were hard to follow I must confess was it but very difficult yes some were bit yes, some were difficult because we as Senate we as civil engineers were f not accustomed to chemistry for instance or microbiology or medical aspects that was completely new f new for us mm -hmm. and interesting of course uh, it's a bit like Gerard here that I Gerard, that I uh, I remember particularly the contacts I made and the contacts I still have and have had all the time with engineers in other parts of the world and so on. And yes, the, the chemistry and microbiology were the bits that were quite different from our civil engineers tended to be involved with sewage treatment was because they knew how to build tanks and make structures and so on. Mm -hmm. And th there was a, a textbook that told you what to, uh, how much to do for this and how much to do for that and how much to do the next thing. But without any real knowledge, and chemists and biologists at that time didn't seem to get involved too much, much to their chagrin. Another thing was to learn so much about my own country as seen from the outside. Uh, uh, the, uh, the tours we made to, uh, particularly I seem to remember Germany, to the Rural Verband was a, a big structure. This was only 16 years after the end of the war, the tremendous destruction. A big, and the Ruhr, of course, was a, a heavy industrial area of mining and so forth, and they had built a, a very elaborate, to my mind, structure for the dealing with pollution. And, uh, did they deal with water supplies as well, the Ruhr Verband? Mm, no, I don't think so. No. no. And there's another one, the Emscher Genossen Shaft, and there was a third one, I think, the names of which escapes yes. me at the moment. But these were particularly interesting, and oh, we had a, big, a bit of a social life there too as well. Uh, I won't say much about that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, th these uh, chemistry and microbiology were really the, the things outside the civil engineering field that were a great benefit, a uh, parent benefit. It was, well, I love, I really love to, <laughs> to eat, <laughs> to eat other food. Yeah. So when, when I can, I invite my friends to eat with me, to share them a little bit of uh, the cuisine, Mexican cuisine. And mm -hmm. also I love to go and know more about them. Okay. I love Delft, so mm -hmm. um, I'm completely in love. I think it's a fairy tale city, so 
um, when, I, when I'm tired from studying or something, I call a friend and we go, or, or if it's d during the day, if it's a s sunny day, then uh, we go out in the, in, on the market and, and have a coffee or something and uh, yeah, just talk and it's very nice. Okay. I have a Dutch friend, but at least he, uh, once in a while he, ent he entertains me, mm -hmm. like we go for movie, he invites uh, me for dinner to have a Dutch meal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, um, I followed the American literature mm -hmm. and I was influenced in so far that I brought ideas from articles, American articles here in Holland, but they, uh, the directors or the, um, say the government was not very willing to accept the American ideas, although we first learned that uh, in the United States the rules or the about sewage treatment were very strict and in the United States there was also uh, there were plants which converted sewage into drinking water that was a big step I've never seen that in Holland I've never heard about it anymore but it is a possibility mm -hmm. and I've not seen so uh, that might be future but not realized yet and that's a bit disappointing I find uh, I find more most interesting like uh, modeling uh, and I think it's basically the future because without uh, no we don't have to try it on a real plant or, or a system or something uh, we can just uh, try to model it first and see uh, approximately how it's going to look like and then use it I think they are well prepared to do a useful work, mm -hmm. not only for, for uh, towns, but also for uh, um, areas, people in, in, uh, in the districts areas. So it is many problems they have to do with, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they uh, must have many uh, solutions on the same problems, because the solution varies, will vary in, in uh, belonging on the uh, concentration of the uh, of uh, impurity and the concentrations of the drinking water and the, the, the community communities varies in in some are big and some are small so they have uh, a very interesting future to go to the utmost to study here, take all possibilities, but uh, I wish them more um, to have lectures from practical professors, professors that have worked in the field, yes, and that uh, is most worthful for, for educate, being educated here. If we consider where we started from in 1960-61 here in a classroom with the labs here and there mm -hmm. and draw a graph from there to what we've seen today, the growth of the institute, the growth of the growth of the laboratories and so forth, uh, it's still with all this to extrapolate on and there are so many things happening in the world today that countries that have not done much in this until now, they're rapidly expanding and causing tremendous pollution and they have, have to, all the problems to come well they've got problems right now mm -hmm. and whether they have the resources to do it but there's so many opportunities for students of this 
Sunshine Engineering today.